Hi everybody, I'm Carolina Risotto. I'm Laura Risotto. And today we're going to be discussing if Ross and Rach were, we're on, on a break. break. To talk about this subject today, we are wearing some official merch from the Ross and Rach music video that we released. Laura is a really talented singer-songwriter, so if you haven't checked out the video, go look at it right now. And we'll talk a little bit more about all these products that are on sale at the end of this video. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel before we get started. Para brasileirada, você pode ativar legendas em português para assistir esse vídeo. Clique no botão aqui embaixo. So I have some notes here because I'm a very prepared woman. There she goes. I split them into two because there's just so much going on. Oh my god. But <laughs> let's... You have two little notepads? I have two notepads about this subject. I am. On season three, episode 15, the one where Ross and Rachel take a break. After Ross hooks up with Chloe, the copy girl, he has a fight with Rachel and he says... I thought we were broken up. And Rachel says... We were on a break. However, on season four, in the episode of the one with the jellyfish, he says we were on a break. We were on a break! We need to define what being on a break means. <laughs> to me, if you're having a fight, and the way she said, I think, I think we need a break from us. And he walks out. To me, that's not a finished conversation. He just created new terms for the relationship. And I feel like if both people haven't agreed to what's happening next, then previous rules apply that don't sleep with other people. <laughs> you would think. But to Ross, they were broken up. And to me, that was very clear to him on his side of the story. Especially because right after, who shows up in, his, in her apartment? Mark. He was like, oh, okay, that's what she means with being on a break from us. So he goes out there and sleeps with Chloe. Mark was a trigger for Ross, and that goes back all the way to his childhood. Oh my God. Because he was this into is Rachel. This not a therapy session for Ross. It's, you have to go deep into the person's emotions to understand yeah. what is triggering them to do that. I she knows Ross, she's known him since high school. He's been in love with her since high school. And all that happened at that time was Ross would never, you know, uh, be a choice for Rachel. She would be dating all these guys, like Chip. Not everyone can handle a strong, independent woman. And as we've talked about before, their relationship starts getting rocky once she gets a job she really loves. She starts focusing on her career. And as soon as they feel threatened by another guy, he freaks out. So I think a guy that still can't handle a woman being powerful, independent, and strong, and yes, having men chase after her. I don't think he's mad enough for her yet. No. Well, definitely couldn't handle her. It, okay, he, he couldn't, he handle, couldn't her. handle her. He couldn't her. handle her. That's for sure. There I mean, go. because he was too insecure. But yeah. then again, her as a partner, you know, she should take the time to actually have that conversation. 100%. Which she doesn't. She does not. She doesn't. Yeah. And you can tell that by, you know, the you know the one with the jellyfish, that episode. She writes 18 pages, front and back. Just blaming him. Blaming Which Ross. is so wrong. That is no. super wrong. And she tells him, hey, read this at 5 a.m. And here's of... the thing. She was like so offended that Ross hooked up with Chloe. But on the one with the jellyfish, Ross travels to the beach house with his friends, uh -huh. with Bonnie. He kisses Rachel when he's still with Bonnie because Rachel was hitting on him the whole time. Rachel was always just like used to just getting what she wanted. So I think she doesn't process of just like, this is what I want, I'm, I'm gonna get it, right? And it's like, yep. no. Like, she's kind of spoiled. She's super true. spoiled, of course. And I mean, she grows out of that. She becomes a lot stronger and independent and stuff like that. She cuts her credit card. <laughs> I'm like, you know. You're a shoe! You're a shoe! You're a shoe! You're a shoe! What do what you want to be? A hat or a purse? <laughs> <laughs> so I think that Rachel in that situation lacks a lot of empathy for yeah. Ross because she's hurt. But like, it takes two to break up a relationship. It does. Of course, he made a huge mistake. She can choose to walk away from it, but she chose to walk away from it. Therefore, she has responsibility. And then she just makes the whole conversation about how Ross cheated, but it was clearly miscommunication. Okay, so maybe we need to address that. Did Ross cheat? No. He did not cheat, but she has the right to be upset because it was very quick. <laughs> Go. I think the key word here is intention. And because he thought that they were actually broken up, I don't think I would consider it cheating, but I consider it a break of trust. 
I don't think he's a bad person. No. He doesn't have bad character. He just has you know? a squad. No, yeah. but getting back to what we were talking about, Rachel not taking any responsibility. Yeah. In the letter that she writes to Ross, she says, if you accept full responsibility, I can start trusting you again. Does that seem like something you can do? Does it? It's ego for both of them getting in the way, yeah. you know? Why he keeps saying we were on a break is because Rachel just doesn't, doesn't recognize that his intention was not to hurt her. Here's another point. But because Ross was really inexperienced. If you think about it, he was with Carol like since college. He was married to her and then found out she was a lesbian. So his romantic experience and with relationships is very limited. Yeah. So I understand why to him it wasn't maybe intuitive of like, he we just were kinda, still together. Ross really just kind of gets married. So I yeah, guess he, he doesn't like, understand. He just got so I understand <laughs> that like he doesn't have the experience to yeah. understand what bringing on a break means. Were they on a break? It is very difficult to say because I don't think when they were talking about we were on a break or not, they knew what they were talking because about. Because they never stopped to define what each term meant. All we know is that Ross thought that they were broken up and she thought they didn't. I would think like, Rachel, if I said I need a break and the guy walked out, I'd be like, we're still together, this is a fight. If you were Rachel, what would you have done? You I... find out who slept with someone else through Gunther. Because I feel like if Ross had told her, it would have been a lot better. 100%. In what because, way do you because think? Because now her privacy is exposed. Like. I think people tend to feel humiliated when they're cheated on, right? It's just like, wow, someone did that. Someone walked all over me. This is what happens. And then you find out that not only you have to, you know, discover such news that the person you trusted the most absolutely broke you. <laughs> but the guy who serves you coffee knows. Yeah, it's just yeah. like other people are already talking about it. You know, it's like, oh, so, so you feel made fun of, you feel ridiculed. Here's the reason why I think they were broken up because when she's at her place and Monica is there, uh, Monica asks, hey, how was your anniversary dinner? She said, oh, it was okay. No, we kind of broke up instead. <laughs> and throughout the whole episode of that season, season three, she keeps saying, kinda, maybe, but she does say broke up. And then when she goes to Ross's apartment to try to get back together, she said, can I be your girlfriend again? So but in a way, in her mind, she was like, oh, we kind of broke up. The kind of there is the technicality. Yeah, I've, everyone's trying to get away with the technicality. The but it, the technicality it exists. And I think that when she says, can I be your girlfriend again, is because they were on a fight. Like, I imagine going through a fight with a partner and just being like, can well, we be friends again? Maybe the reason you know? that she felt comfortable saying kind of is that to, in her head, he would never be with anybody else that quickly. Yeah. So if you're like, oh, it's, it's okay, I still have time to decide. Maybe that's how she so, felt. Yeah. Were they on a break? No, they were broken up because in both of their minds. No, I don't agree with that. They were broken up. No, let me finish. Oh my God. <laughs> let me finish. They were broken up because in both of their minds, it crossed the thought we were broken up. To Ross, they were broken up. He slept with someone else. No. Rachel said in two occasions in that episode, Oh, we kind of broke up instead. Can I be your girlfriend again? Again, that was for Twice. effect. That was for effect. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It, she it said it. It does matter. And in that episode, the title is the one where they were on a break. On and, a break and doesn't mean and broken that, up. In that episode. <laughs> in that episode. <laughs> God. Wait, no, let me get They confirm. were on a break. They no, were okay. not oh. broken up. Oh no, this just got really confusing because the title of the episode is the one where they, they're on a they're on a break. And in that episode, Rachel thinks being on a break is still being together. So the writers are saying that they were not broken up. Were they on a break? Yes. Were they broken up? No. But it's fair that, I mean, I don't think it's fair. <laughs> no, you know what? <laughs> no, but James looks so like quick. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, Ross, but what adult man walks out of a conversation and just concludes that you are broken up and you can sleep with someone else? I don't know how how, how he thought that was okay. Are you that man? Let us know what you think Ross's thought process was because I really don't understand like, that ooh, impulsiveness. But I don't, I don't understand someone well, you love, you've been wanting that person for years and then you decide to, to jeopardize everything. What are we talking about? That was totally cheating. But it's cheating that I think can be forgiven with time because of the intention. But can you trust that person again? That's really hard. Do you guys think they were in a break? It's so confusing. Or meaning, were they still together and just taking some time apart? Or were they broken up? Let us know in the comments section below. Let us know. But what I do want to know from you, Laura, since you wrote Ross and Rach the song yeah. and performed in, 
These are the characters she played. Can you see some similarities? Maybe. But tell me, what was your thought process behind that song and the metaphors you use, right? Ross and Rach, Monica and Richard. So the song is about something that I went through. Most of my work is autobiographical. And the, the, the metaphor of the song is like, I need a breakup. Like what we had was never Ross and Rach love. I need to finish this. I can't have the, we're on a break. We're kind of here, we're kind of there. I was like, no. Like some people like Ross and Rach were able to make it through the back and forth and then end up together. And that's, you know, awesome. But I was like, we would never make it. We would never make it through this on a break, off a break, and then end up together anyway. But then you also mentioned Monica that and Richard. That maybe we are Monica and Richard, that we had this epic romance, there's this beautiful love story, and I think they're one of those couples you really cheer on in the show. Really, I really you're did. You're like, oh yeah. my god, I loved them together. But it's like, you already know you're not ending up together, yeah. because it's it's not possible. They just, they're gonna need different things. So maybe that's all that we were supposed to be. We were supposed to have that, and we're not gonna end up together, and we never get far enough, yeah. so we need to break up. So if you haven't checked out the Ross and Rage music video, get ready for some 90s nostalgia. Go watch it right now. Go check it out. It is here on the screen. The link is in the description. And you can also buy all the official merch right now. We ship worldwide. And, and we yeah. made this project, th these products together. We really yes, made sure that they did. were good quality and comfy and cute. So we hope you guys enjoy them. If you watch this video, I'm sure you're gonna love the merch. But most importantly, let us know in the comment section below. We're Ross and Rage on a break. Thank you so much for watching and for going on this journey with us. Please remember to follow Laura on social media and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Also follow Carolina on her social media, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all the things. Subscribe. Just subscribe to her channel. <laughs> Make sure to activate the little bell so you're notified when new videos come out. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Carolina Risotto. I'm Laura Risotto. We will see you next time. Bye. Ciao.